Hey there, it's the shooting guy, and today I am with the shooting gal, and we're going to do something a little bit different. We are here in the garden, and we've got stuff like corn, and we've got tomatoes, and we've got peppers, and we've got bell peppers, acorn squash, celery, <laughs> pumpkin, watermelon, and we've got a whole bunch of things, but today we're really going to focus on pickles. So the key to getting some really good pickles made, and we're gonna show you how to do that a little bit later on, is first doing what? Picking the cucumbers. Picking a <laughs> cucumber. So pickles are cucumbers. Let's get an example of some some uh, great looking uh, pickles here, or cucumbers. And what do you do? The baby babies. Yeah. So what size is a good size? He's been here a little long. So this, this is a good size um, if you're gonna do whole cucumbers, you know, whole pickles, yeah. you know, regular dills. And you just brush off the blossom and then there's little prickles. So wear gloves and just rub them and it takes off all the little, uh, they're kind of like cactus thorns, but not as painful. So, and then you'll notice they get kind of weepy and it'll weep a little bit at the stem end as well, uh, which is a little sticky, but not too bad. What's the next step? Uh, you gotta refrigerate them. So you want them to be cold and that helps give you nice crisp pickles. Um, so stick them in the refrigerator eight to 24 hours and then do your canning. Oops. Okay, the pickles were uh, cooled down for 24 hours and then we got them all sliced up. Now what's next? Sterilize your jars by boiling them in water for five minutes. Make sure you have the brine ready for the brine in a big pot equal parts water and vinegar, salt, salt, more salt, sugar, spices. Okay, stir it up. And I just use a little ladle because I'm just going to use that later on to fill the jars. And that saves me one less thing to watch. Okay, bring it to a boil and then reduce the heat and let simmer for 15 minutes. Don't forget the garlic and don't forget the onions. So the brine is done simmering, so I'm going to get my jars out of the pot that have been sterilized. So you dump out the water. I'm going to put it down here. This is pickle crisp. You don't have to use it, but it helps to keep the um, a little bit crisper so you don't get too mushy. I'm going to put in some dill, cloves of garlic, and some onion. And then stuff it as much as you can with cucumbers. All right, then you pour in the brine. And when I get it most way full, I poke it to get all the air bubbles out. You need to have headroom, which allows the liquid and contents of your jar to expand during the canning process. And for this, it needs to be a quarter of an inch. So this comes in handy to be measured. It has um, steps depending on how much headroom your recipe requires. Okay, and then take a little piece of paper towel and just dunk it in your, your hot water. Wipe around the rim of the jar where the lid is going to go so that there's no food or brine. And that helps to seal the stick. Okay. And then once that's done, grab a lid that you've been keeping hot out of a spot on the stove there. Finger tight the ring on, onto the jar and then stick it back in your canning pot. Okay, and then move on to the next one. So just keep repeating the process until you've gotten all of your cucumbers um, into jars. You may have to make more brine and you may have to do more than one batch. Okay, so I lower the jars 
and bring the water back to a boil and let it process for 15 minutes. Okay, the timer went off and the processing is done. This is the tricky part. Okay, I'm gonna just take the jars out and set them to the side to cool. Put them on a covered surface. You don't want to crack your tile and you don't want to break the jar. You need to take them over um, away from the stove so that they can cool. So you want to double check and make sure that the seal's sealed properly and so you'll need to take off the ring and pick it up by the seal. So, so long as the seal stays on, you know it's sealed and it'll be safe. A lot of times people will listen for a pop, um, but you don't always hear it and it's hard to tell visually. So that's the best way to make sure your seal is sealed. And then put the ring back on securely and label it so that you know how long ago you made them. So when you find them in the back of the cupboard, you'll know they're still good. And don't open the jar and try them for at least three weeks. That way they get really well pickled and taste uh, full flavor. There are a couple of websites you can go to for good information about how to can and food preservation at home. And um, I highly recommend the UC Davis one because their guide has lots of pictures and graphs and it's very clear and understandable. So we'll put the website down below. Happy canning. Well, there you go. Thank you, Shooting Gal, so much. That was so, so much fun. I mean, we went from the garden to the kitchen and soon to our stomachs. And uh, thank you for your expertise on how to can pickles. If you do want more information, don't forget, yeah, we do have all the information down below. If you want this recipe, I'm gonna put a link down below that you can click on. It'll take you to a place where all you gotta do is just tell us who you are and we'll send you that recipe. It's very good, it's got garlic in it, it's gotta be good. Don't forget, we've got a website, check it out. We also do Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat. So don't forget to do all that stuff. Thanks for joining us today. All we need to say now is God bless you, God bless America, and may America bless God. I haven't made the brine yet. Hey. No. Okay, action when you're ready. Am I supposed to say it?